Yo, YouTube. So last night I did something new, a new experience, something that I haven't done before, and it was called sensory deprivation. So maybe you haven't heard of it, maybe you have. I know it was uh, introduced on the Joe Rogan podcast not too long ago, and shout out to that too, that is a sick podcast. But anyway, it was big back in the 70s and 80s from the research I've done, that's what it says. And it seems to be picking up a little steam again, making a comeback. It's kind of in relation to this whole meditation, mindfulness craze. And it's it's awesome. Like I said in my last video, I'm pretty big into meditation. And this sens sensory deprivation really allows you to go to a new level in meditation. I believe it would be po possible with just a, a normal practice um, meditation, whether in a temple or a yoga studio. But this definitely speeds things up. And man, was this thing a trip. It was awesome. So you get, basically what it is, if you haven't heard of it, is it's a large tank. So you do hit the sides, but it's not a big concern. Filled with two feet of water, then dumped with 850 pounds or 400 kilos of Epsom salts. So it's basically mimicking the Dead Sea, whereas you float. Um, so the room, the, the place that I went to was totally kick-ass, completely soundproof building, plus the tank is soundproof, plus you get earplugs, so I mean, your your hearing is completely cut off, the water is heated to your body temperature, so it's very hard once you, once you kind of chill out, it's very hard to distinguish between what your body is and what the water is, so it, it feels like floating, and that's why this place was called the float center too, just an unreal experience, it's the body benefits are fantastic and you can look them up but the mind mind benefits were where it's at i could see some people being intimidated it's dark it's you could consider it claustrophobic for some but let go and try it if your city has got this look it up sensory deprivation a completely new experience i was completely aware of my breathing could control my breath and at the same time like it was like lucid, lucid dreaming as well, but on steroids, like it was just mind blowing. I'm, I'm definitely a huge fan. And what I actually want to do is look and see if I can start this in my, in my hometown. Cause I know they don't have it. So I think this is going to be big. Check it. If you if your city has it, definitely do it. It's a little pricey, but it's worthwhile. It's 90 minutes, <laughs> completely worth the money. Check it. Sensory deprivation. I'm out. Peace.